Please note, this is a very offensive game. If you would like to uh, not be offended, I'd suggest not watching this video. I'd also personally suggest watching it with headphones or making sure no adults are anywhere in the vicinity because it's an offensive game. Hey guys, Double here, and welcome back to If My Heart Was a Refrigerator. In the last part, we did Hanako with that hole in her head. In this part, we're going to do Hiromi. <laughs> Yay, incest. Very well. <clears throat> here we are. Where is here exactly? Insolent human, we're at the edge of time and space. I will now send you to the reality you've requested. I'm afraid I don't understand. How is all that possible? Have you never read the science of bio <clears throat> bio biomechanical goosology? Seriously, they cover the concept of metaphysics and transdimensional transit extensively on page 394. How is it extensive if it's only on one page? Why isn't it at least double paged? <clears throat> I'm just going to skip this because I'm assuming it's the exact same. Up until jump into the portal. I don't really want to read that. Or that. After a moment, I arrive on the other side. It's probably going to be the bed thing. Did I even do anything? Whoa, what the hell's going on? Oh, shit. What the hell? Now you've done it. Done what? You've unraveled the fabric of time and space. Why? Why is freezing? <laughs> I mean, what were you thinking? Trying to bone your little sister? She's not even the first option on the menu! You had to... You had to consciously make that decision! Who is that? It should be like, wow, there are so many women here! I think I'll fuck my sister! What's wrong with you? Nay! <coughs> I... I don't know! I gaw... What the f what the fuck? Okay, I don't know why this requires a high-end graphics card, but it's lagging like hell on my computer. What the fuck? What the fuck is even going on here? Wait, was she actually naked there? Oh, uh, assuming that's the same sprite, she's not. Okay. Okay, can that hurry up? Um, oh, okay, that save is skipping that part, okay. Initializing system reboot. Reboot complete. Environment stabilized. So I kind of want to know how that would handle without Camtasia running. Enjoy your game. Well, great going there, dipshit. By trying to bone your sister, you almost got us all killed. What do you have to say for yourself? Oops. Um, lick my bag. You know what? That's it. Death is too good of a reward for you. As punishment, I hereby banish you to the darkest place on earth. The realm of the game developer. Oh, sweet. Wrong name. A wrong... In fact, they just gave Freezes his voice. I always thought it would be really cool to make video games. Just you wait. Head slam. Nope. This sucks. It's not cool. It's not creative. The ending is shit. Because I am shit. This is too pretentious and self indulgent. Nope, nope. I'm not gonna let this happen. <laughs> um. Okay. Welp. I'm officially out of ideas. Without all the bright idea of making a game based off a killer refrigerator anyway. Those guys suck. <sighs> I don't get paid enough for this shit. Do you even get paid? Close my eyes, restart the sequence, and lean back in my chair. In case you want to know what his computer and keyboard look like, there you go. <sighs> well, now what? I think I need some more inspiration. What's this have to do with his sister? Maybe I can huff some more Vicks inhalers and chew some five gum. <laughs> Man, I've already been hitting the hard stuff too much today. Maybe I should just go get some coffee. Yeah, that should be the trick. 
I roll out of my squeaky chair. My chair kind of squeaks a little. And walk down into my living room. In case you want to know what his living room looks like. Hey, George. I'm gonna going out for coffee. Want to come with? And there's George with a poorly cropped green screen. Nah, man. I'm in the middle of a raid in World of Warcraft. You don't look like it. The laptop's closed. Not gonna believe this dude. But there are these girls in the chat room that keep hitting on me. Pretty sure they're like 40 year old men. I'm just like, that's great, but I'm trying to raid. Plus, I think one of them is like 16. How old are you? Sandusky strikes again, right? Oh, George. You go, dude. Anyway, I'm out. I grab my keys by the door and head out to my car. <clears throat> In case you wanted to know what his car looks like. I get in my car and turn on the engine. Vroom, vroom. Clunk. Aw, oh, shit. I try again. Vroom. Sputter, sputter. The car comes to a complete start. Finally! All right, now for some tunes. Turn on the CD player and blast some music on the way to the coffee shop. Now, which CD did I leave in here last time? Push the play button. Click beep. I might have to mute this. I don't recognize this song. Oh, great. Hoobastank facepalm. Thank God nobody's around. I don't know if I could continue on living if someone ever found out that I, 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 Luke, oh, I, Luke, Sa Sakenheim listen to Hoobst Hoobastank. My life would literally be over if anyone ever found out. Everything I've ever worked for. This magnificent facade I've built up. My credibility. My dignity. My integrity. It would all come to an end if anyone ever found out that I, Luke Sakenheim, I wonder if that's actually his name. Listen to Hoobastank. Crisis averted. Now, can you turn this shit off? I look all over the floor. Aha! Now which one do I want to listen to? Um. <clears throat> sure, because that, that's probably royalty free if you made it. Oh, holy shit. Why do I still have this in here? Pick up one of the only two copies of a has a of half-assed autopsy like never before in existence. And I regrettably bought that shit on my CD player. Ugh. It's all coming back to me. Yep. That's my handiwork, all right. Got my seal of shit all over it. <clears throat> what was I thinking? Women don't like guys who can pig squeal. They want financial security. And girth. Not asshat screaming brat bree 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 in their face. That impresses no one. As I listen to myself rape my own ears, I come to the welcome realization that I should have killed myself years ago. You now your car hasn't moved at all. Okay, I need coffee. And a muzzle. <laughs> Did you just go into a coffee shop and take a picture and blur like 50% of the picture? I finally arrive at the coffee shop. I walk inside and the smell hits me instantly. I can hear other people around me placing their orders. Oh! Um. Can I just get a regular cotton candy frappy? I'm s oh shit. I'm sorry, miss, but we don't have such a thing. If that's an off-menu item. Could you describe how to make it? The dumb teenager looks perplexed and then becomes indignant. The indignance soon begets belligerence. Sha! Um, you should know how to make it. It's on your secret menu. Are you just stupid? It's actually a terrible voice cracking voice thing. Why did they not train you right? Why can't you just make it like I asked you to? I've had just about as much as I can take it. Why do I have to choose the scream out? It's time to make like Gandhi and be the change. I walk right up to the dumb teenager and I shoot a, her a dirty look as I walk past her in line. Glad the scream out at least ended. But if it weren't against the law, I'd like to just kick her ass and send her running back home. To her house full of tanning beds, iPads, beats, headphones, and white privilege. Then receive a standing ovation from the employees and black coffee drinkers alike. <laughs> but this is reality, so that ain't gonna fly. You know, it's kind of hard to tell if the, he means, like, black coffee, like, with no cream, or black people drinking coffee. Pretty sure it means black people drinking coffee, but you know. Anyway, time to place an order. Hi, Luke. Okay, you know an employee or randomly 
made this person an employee or just took her picture for no reason? Oh, Sam, what's up? Oh, <laughs> you know. Sam smiles and tries to give me a hug. What the fuck? <laughs> what does this have to do with <laughs> the game at all? I'm not the touchy-feely type. But she's the nice kind of girl that if you don't hug her back, you just feel like an asshole. Oh, wait. I am an asshole. You know what? These are the problems that I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Deal with it. Give her a hug. All right. Sam leans in and puts her arm around me. I do the same, with some reluctance. I hate humans. And hell, at least she's an animal lover. I tighten my embrace. And then I actually enjoy it a bit. All right, enough space and painting for today. So what do you want to drink? Oh, that's a great question. Let me see. I look up at the menu board. A few minutes later, I make my choice. Well, Sam, I think I'll have... <laughs> Cotton candy. <laughs> black coffee. Great! Sam turns around and pours me a cup of black coffee. I believe that today's brew is... Samertra? My favorite. Here you go! Thanks so much, Sam. I take a whiff of the coffee and start spazzing like a retard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, I'll talk to you in a bit. I'm going outside to enjoy this. All right, see you soon. I continue to huff my coffee as I make my way to the patio. Ah, here we go. I almost thought that was a CG for a second. The titan of all Indonesian coffees. Unlike your run-of-the-mill Latin American bullshit, Indonesian coffees actually matter. They stand up on their own. No pairings necessary. You sip it, hicks your tongue's ass, and then you get the fuck out. Specifically, if you're looking, you're looking at a full-bodied space spice bomb, full-bodied because of the inherent oils. Unless your roster roaster is an asshole, it's almost impossible to fuck up. All it needs is a small bit of love past the second crack stage, and you're gold. When I say it's spicy, I don't mean that in a peppery way. I think leafier herbs like tarragon with a dense with dense hints of si cedar. Then out of nowhere, the finish hits. It's sweet and earthy, just like the w warm soil hails from. Like the rainforest in a cup. Now, if warm, spicy topsoil isn't your ideal cup, then fuck you. Go back to your washed, processed Latin American bullshit. <clears throat> Bright, nutty flavor with a clean finish. Belch. If you want the taste of nuts in your mouth, then go lick a sack. I take a swig of liquid inspiration and breathe into the sky. Yep, the summer. Is that a bird or something on my screen? There's not a whole lot left, so I make sure to enjoy it while I can. It's the perfect season. It's the longest days of the year, and it's not cold outside. So not only do you feel like being alive, but you have the most chances to go out and live. It's the one season where anything is possible. As long as you want to try it. That girl guy you've always been too afraid to ask out? Do it. That song you've always wanted to write? Do it. That skill you've always wanted to learn? Do it. What the fuck? This is becoming inspirational. I don't want inspirational shit and if my heart was a refrigerator. Do it now. Do it before everything starts dying. Before the colors start to fade. Before the night falls, just as things are getting good. Put everything aside, your fears and your inhibitions. And go live before it's too late. What is simply a dream in winter it can become a reality in summer? What if your dream requires it to be winter, like skiing or something? And that's the magic of these 93 long, glorious days. Hmm. I think this game should take place in the summer. Hopefully nobody will notice that it's set in late July when Japan is out of school. Are they actually? I'm trying to think because air takes place in the summer. And sure, they're out of school, but they start in school, and I'm trying to remember. I think it's early July. Uh, any other vision? Clan, had, except they're seniors, so they apparently have to stay summer. Cannon was winter. Icebound wasn't. J Lion didn't have school. No idea when Little Busters takes place, because I've only seen the anime. Rewrite is October. Okay, so I, I can't counter that. Actually, Americans are 
<laughs> Douchebags, I doubt they will give a shit about cultural a accuracy anyway. They probably think that Sumatra... Su Sumatra is an Atlantic region. I finish the last bit of my coffee and head back inside. Yeah! My muscles are relaxed and my brain is buzzing. Hey, did you enjoy your coffee? Oh yeah. I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it! Thanks. Do you need another? Haha, <laughs> yeah, like I need a fucking hole in my head. <laughs> Hold that thought. I reach into my pocket and grab my pen. I scribble some stuff on my screen. Shouldn't this have been the first choice? Except then they couldn't have made the joke about... But... Shouldn't it have at least been before the girl with the hole in her head? Make one of the girls have a hole in her head. That's brilliant. So many new ideas for this game. <clears throat> anyway, Sam, I'm off. Got more idiotic projects to attend to. Good seeing you. Bye! Feeling refreshed and full of new ideas, I go back to my car. Only to notice that someone has smashed in the driver's side window. Holy shit, they better not have taken my stereo. I go into my car. Oh, thank God, it's still here. I push play on my stereo to blast some more shitty, self-defeating grind corn suddenly. What sort of sick world are we living in? When someone would break into another person's car to pop up. <laughs> thanks, CD. I refuse to take responsibility for this one. Let's just go home keyboard shut up there a little early. Well, back at the old desk. I sit and think about the direction this game is headed towards as I struggle to come up with original ideas. I think about games that inspired me to take on this project in the first place, like 999 on DS. I heard that's actually good. After I beat that game, I fell into an extern... Existent... Oh my... Existent... Ex... Fuck. I know that word. I know how to pronounce it. Existent? Fuck. Crisis for a month. It changed my whole outlook on games with multiple endings. And subsequently ruined every other video game for me. Then of course there's If My Heart Had Wings. I've heard of that. Like game redefined the entire genre of Moe games. Four simple choices are planned in the span of a 40 hour game. I didn't know that. They relied strictly on character development and narrative structure to carry it along. Not to mention a soundtrack that complemented the emotions of all the senses perfectly. So are you just like giving visual novel recommendations now? I'm only critiquing these games because I want you to play- I- I'm psychic. And because in American copyright law you can get away with claiming fair use if it's for commentary purposes. <laughs> so like my bang and enjoy the background music. Was this from one of those games or something? Ah. Uh, but look what I have to deal with. Who gives you a CD full of shitty death metal and asks you to make a game about it? I mean, there's not even a consistent theme here. One minute they're spouting off about being killed by refrigerators, and then in the next track they're worshipping a fucking refrigerator. I don't even understand it. Who would ever believe that you could be killed by a refrigerator anyway? Fuck this shit. I should just make all the endings kill the player. <laughs> like, too bad, you're a shitty band and played their game. You should be penalized for it. Oh, that's fantastic, huh? <laughs> oh, I should also load the game up with tons of third-party content so that they can't legally sell it. Oh, that's rich. Hope you assholes like Hobastank. Or I can mute it. I continue to code all of all the sorts of stolen soundtracks and images into the game. Then I add a few Holocaust and 9-11 jokes for good measure. I didn't catch any Holocaust. I did catch the 9-11 joke earlier. Holy shit, it's done. My god, I've created a masterpiece. Hmm. <clears throat> now it just needs one final touch. The player has to die in every ending. Guess that can only mean one thing then. I press the save project button. I export the project as a standalone .exe file. Phew, here we go. As the game finishes its final renders, I look across my room in search of salvation. That'll do. I walk across the room to a nearby electrical outlet. <laughs> the hentai, to all the hentai fans who are pissed off there weren't any sex scenes in this game. I'm happy there's no sex scenes that I have to actually censor. I already have to mute the... <laughs> Mary Fridge Miss, you... I'm the only one. I drop my pants and start fucking the electrical outlet figures. What the... F mm, yeah, baby. How small is your dick to fit in the electrical outlet? 
all the electrics and lights in the apartment start flickering and strobing. Yeah, Ian, you have my nickel D. Putting the D back in ACDC. Eventually, all good fun comes to an end. You, an electric shock goes straight through my cock. Yeah! I think I'm dead now. Not sure, it's just a sort of void, really. Holy shit, you're real. Of course I am. You, Cody, and Andy created me. As it turns out, 37 years have passed since that fateful day. <clears throat> when you created the vi greatest video game ever made. And subsequently fucked an electrical outlet to death. It went on to sell millions. Turns out, the entire world had also completely forgotten about Hobostank. Until your game reminded them. Hobostank and Killer Refrigerator went on multiple world tours together after that. They preached to the gospel free this and counted millions. Countless millions. So as a special thanks, your soul has been spared from the fridge apocalypse. As a reward, you'll be sent to the great beyond. Stay frigid. Flash of light welcomes me to the end. I've arrived to the great beyond. It's amazing. I step through this gate. And right in front of me, my 72 virgins. In an ironic twist of fate, they're all anime nerds. And as it turns out, people who like anime have trouble getting laid. Although I can't imagine why. I think for girls it would be easy. Like, because the guys are desperate as fuck. And then, oh my god, a girl likes anime. He continued to look into the crowd. They're decent looking enough, but eh. There's some butter faces in the crowd. And how does this work? I mean, if I have sex with one of them, they're not really a virgin anymore. I've always questioned that. <clears throat> so do they go away? Do they just go somewhere else? To only get to have sex 72 times for the rest of eternity? I mean, that doesn't seem like a whole lot. I'm starting to rethink this whole suicide thing. Oh, well, it's not that bad. I mean, Antonio Banderas is here. <laughs> So, I can't do his voice at all. Well, I guess this is where I'll be when fridges rule the world. We don't need to see the credits again. Okay, so um, I don't know if this song is copyright or not. I'll probably upload these as tests and see if they are or not. Um, because, I mean, it'll tell me. So, uh, next time, we will, what's this one, we will go for Dem Titties. <laughs>